What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about an interesting vulnerability that has been released um, recently. So it's a CVE 2023 and it is it has to do with Outlook, uh, Microsoft Outlook web app or sorry the desktop application. So the vulnerability affects only the desktop application, it doesn't affect the OWA or the web version. So if you have Outlook desktop app like this one here in my taskbar as you can see i'm hovering over the mouse using the mouse you got to update your outlook as soon as possible so in this video we're going to explain this vulnerability how it works and we're going to also offer all the mitigations uh, as well so we have two machines we have the attacker machine and we have a machine running an older version of outlook so if you go and check out the version of this outlook we go to file <coughs> and then we check out office account as you can see here about outlook learn more about outlook so we click on about outlook and we can see here the version information so this is the version information so what we can do we can go ahead and check for updates if there are updates but we're not going to do that because this environment is for testing purposes so we're going to go back and see how this works the first thing we're going to talk about here guys is how the vulnerability works <coughs> so basically it works in a way that when you receive an email in your inbox once you receive an email the attacker on the other end will receive your windows uh, net ntlm version 2 authentication hash then after that if you are in a domain uh, Active Directory environment or if your computer is connected to the domain controller the attacker then will be able to pass the hash or maybe use the hash to authenticate to your uh, workstation so how this works the first thing let's put ourselves in the shoes of an attacker and start this the first thing the attacker will what we will do so first we will launch responder I know make this bigger Okay, we're gonna zoom in. So responder dash i enc six responder. Let me check out the commands. So go to public exploits. Let's scroll all the way down. Okay five command not found okay so with the responder we will be able to create a listener on port 445 so that any incoming connections uh, from the victim machine it will be actually caught in here and it will display the authentication credentials so I have actually summarized all of the steps all of the details that relate to that vulnerability in the public exploits note file you can find it in the Google Drive if you are subscribed uh, this file is downloadable for free and it has an empty version as well you can find it, you can find it in the Google Drive if you are subscribed so okay so let's scroll down so the first step here we're gonna uh, we need to create a listener using responder because we want to capture the ntlm v2 authentication process and the next thing we need to jump to the uh, machine in here and let's say we are an attacker right so what we're going to do we're going to install first a plugin it's called outlook spy so to do that we're going to close this and this is the outlook spy setup double click on that you need outlook to be closed while you are installing the Outlook Spy plugin. So while this is installed, let's jump back and explain the principles of this vulnerability. Okay. So the main premise of this vulnerability is that it is it actually relies on two parameters that should be manipulated or changed. The first one is PID LID reminder file parameter, and the other one is PID or reminder overwrite. This one should be set to true because we want when we create an appointment we need to uh, or outlook appointment we need to 
the, with the reminder should be turned on so that uh, the uh, the victim machine will be uh, responsive to the attack. So you might be asking, what are you talking about? Reminder appointments. So basically, this vulnerability works based on the attacker creating a malicious appointment, okay, and sending the appointment over to the victim email. So once the victim receives an email with the appointment, they will see a reminder popping out, as we will see in the demo here. So for for now, it's enough to um, know that this vulnerability actually relies on the attacker creating a malicious appointment, okay, sending the malicious appointment to your email. Once you open the email, it will trigger a reminder. So the attacker will send the reminder to zero minutes. Why? Because they want uh, the, the vulnerability to be triggered at the same time of receiving the email, right? Or receiving the appointment in your machine. So once you receive the appointment in your email, it will trigger the reminder. And the reminder, instead of popping a sound, uh, it will actually point to a file that is hosted on the attacker machine or network share. If, the, if, if, if it is in a network share, it will be hosted on a network share. So it will call the file hosted on a network share. That's why we created here um, uh, listener or 445. So basically here, yeah, we're going to capture the NTLM authentication hash. At the same time, we want the file that's hosted on the network share to be served when it is actually triggered in Outlook or in the, uh, out, the Outlook desktop app of the victim machine. So we are waiting now for the installation to take place. So after installing the plugin, as you can see, we can see the plugin in this tab, Outlook Spy. So before using the plugin, we're going to need to create an appointment, as I mentioned earlier. So we go to home and then we go clicking on the calendar. After clicking on the calendar, we click on new appointment. Ignore this. New appointment. Okay, so let's create a new appointment. Let's say test appointment. And the location is the same. When it comes to selecting the start and end time, if you're doing this as a demo, guys, just select the start and end time to be the same as the current date and time uh, at which you're doing the video. So today it's uh, 2 April. So today the start and end time will be 2 April. And here, as you can see, you can leave the start and end time uh, when it comes to the hours the same. Now we're going to reminder here and we can set this to zero minutes. What this means, it means that when the email or the appointment is sent to the recipient, they will get the reminder pop up at the same time or the moment they receive the appointment. Zero minutes. Okay. And then we're going to click to sound. So here, instead of pointing to the default sound triggered by Outlook when they want to remind you or when the app reminds you of an appointment, we need to change this. So in a typical scenario, we would go to click on browse and select a file on my machine. But what happens if you select a file and then go back, you will see it comes back to its default value, which is the default sound file used by Outlook. So to overcome this, we will need to use, that's why we need to use Outlook Spy. It's going to say OK for now. OK, after setting all of these parameters, we're going now to click on Outlook Spy. In Outlook Spy, we're going to click on the current item. By clicking on the current item, we'll be able to edit a couple parameters that are required actually to make this successful. So we go to script and here we can write some basic visual basic uh, commands to edit a couple parameters. So I'm going to go back to my notes. I'm going to grab these. So the first parameter will be the reminder play sound. This is the boolean value that, need, that needs to be set to true right to play the uh, reminder other one is the reminder override default this means that as you can see boolean value that indicates the receiving outlook client means the victim to play the sound pointed by reminder sound file now this is where you put your payload the reminder sound file should point to a payload on the attacker's machine that should do whatever it is supposed to do 
So it could be reversal. So it could be anything else. So here we edit this and put in the path to the file. It could, the file could be on a web server we host as attackers or um, could be on an SMB share that we host again as attackers. So let's edit through uh, these three parameters in the script. So first time we're going to edit the play sound and we're going to set this to true. Appointment item dot equal to true. Okay. And the next one will be the reminder override default. This one is also a boolean value. It needs to be set to true. And the last one, it is where we host the file. Reminder sound file. Now for the sake of the demonstration, we're going to put here um, any value, right? So if you go back to the, to the attacker machine and query the IP address of the machine, that's what you would typically need to do if you are exploiting the vulnerability. So if config, so we would pick up the IP address that corresponds to the interface on which we are running uh, the responder. So ENS5, so this is the IP address. And then we're going to copy that here. So here we set, as you can see, the path to the SMB share in case we are hosting the malicious file or the reversal on an SMB share. So first thing goes double backslash and then goes the share name, non-existent, and then goes the file. So it could be file.reversal or shell of reverse. So then we're going to click on run. Okay. And after running X, now once we hit on the save, what's going to happen here? When we hit on the save, we need to send this to the victim machine, right? But we are assuming that because this is for demonstration purposes, we are only interested in monitoring and observing how this will uh, turn out. On the attacker machine here so let's go to responder now so in the responder we should receive the ntlm hash that is leaked when the email arrives to the victim's inbox so when you create the appointment here guys it will send the email immediately to the victim inbox now because we set the appointment the uh, oh my god appointment because we sent the appointment reminder to be uh, equal to zero minutes it means the moment the appointment arrives to the victim's inbox it will trigger the reminder and it, and the reminder will trigger the file that we said earlier the file will call uh, the, 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 the sorry the uh, the parameter here the parameter was the reminder sound file it will call the file hosted on here on SMB share so once the file is called right it will open the file which happens to be reversal but on top of that we'll be able to receive the leak or the ntlm uh, hash that's leaked and that's the essence of this vulnerability once the victim opens the appointment or once the appointment received is received on their endpoint or under email um, the ntlm hash will be leaked to your machine so let's click let's uh, save as you can see here guys we g get this pop-up so typically this pop-up is received on both ends your end as the person who created the appointment and on the recipient's ends was supposed to be one of the meetings uh, invitee so once they receive this as you can see this means that the reminder is triggered and the file which we configured to be called has been called or supposed to be called now as you can see if you go back to the responder we see all of the information so we received the client ip we received 
the username and we received the ntlm hash so now we can do whatever we want with the hash crack it maybe try to pass the hash maybe try to connect to the workstation in case if it uh, if it is part of um, a domain controller now on top of that the file which we configured here the reverse shell will also be called and opened on the victim machine that's what happens that's in a nutshell a very brief demo of this recent vulnerability so what you have to do you have to update your outlook to the recent version on top of that uh, microsoft released a partial script that can be run on any machine to scan for the artifacts so if you go to the script here it's partial script and as you can see all the steps are laid down to run the script perform the detection and the cleanup so perform detection if uh, you have been hit by this uh, vulnerability or if your machine has been exploited at the same time it performs a cleanup for any malicious appointments that you may have received all you have to do is to just run it okay guys so that was it i will see you in the next video